Stage 7 completes the transmission system. Begin the first phase using parts supplied with issues 45 and 46. Begin by lifting the earth arm assembly back onto the large engraved top plate, assuming you removed it at the start of Stage 5. Ensure the large plastic washer and large brass washer are still in place on the central column. Lower the central column into the central column support. Check that the plastic and brass washers are a snug fit on top of the central column support. And secure the central column by tightening the support's M4G grub screw. The 102 tooth gear should now mesh with the 20 tooth gear at the top of the year counter central shaft. Turn the model gently onto its side and ensure the 8mm steel bearing is correctly seated in the base of the central column. Slide the long brass locking collar onto the central drive shaft and secure it by tightening the grub screw. Slide the 20 tooth gear onto the central drive shaft so it is firmly against the base of the locking collar. The gear teeth should be uppermost and secure it by tightening the grub screw. Turn the model upright again, then add the small brass spacer to the central drive shaft and then the small plastic washer. You can now fit the long chain. With care this can be done without undoing any of the previous assembly. First, drape the chain over planet Earth and lower it down and around the long chain's sprocket. Now, wrap the chain around the sprocket and pull the chain out below the solar eclipse gear and between the inner two moon pillars. Slide the chain over and around the 22-tooth chain sprocket on the central shaft. Slide the main drive shaft down to its lower limit. You will have to release the grub screws on the locking collar and 20-tooth gear below the engraved gear. Wrap the free end of the long chain around the 14-tooth sprocket and place the sprocket onto the top of the main drive shaft. Finally, slide the drive shaft upwards and re-tighten the grub screws on the locking collar and 20 tooth gear. Check that the long chain is fully engaged with all teeth on the 22 tooth sprocket and both 14 tooth sprockets. The second phase of stage 7 adds the short chain and sprocket supplied with issues 47 and 48. Begin by sliding the long brass spacer on the top of the 14 tooth sprocket and engaging its jaws. Wrap the short chain around the 18 tooth sprocket towards the top of the central shaft and pull it taut. Wrap the free end of the short chain around the remaining 14 tooth sprocket. Place the sprocket onto the central drive shaft and engage its jaws with those on the top of the long spacer. Note that you may have to lower the central drive shaft in order to fit this sprocket as when fitting the long chain. Check that the short chain is fully engaged with the sprocket teeth, then lock the long spacer by tightening its grub screw. The third phase of stage 7 adds parts supplied with issues 49 and 50. Fit the brass spindle to the 158 tooth gear using three KM 2.5 screws. Ensure the heads of the screws sit in the countersunk side of the gear. Place the assembled 158 tooth gear on the top of the central drive shaft and ensure it meshes with the 24 tooth gear on the central shaft. Place the date indicator pointer onto the recess at the end of the earth arm with the pointer bending downwards and secure it with one PM3 screw. Now secure the drum base to the engraved plate with the two drum side sections between. This is best done by first turning the upper assembly upside down. Ensure all loose parts are removed first. You'll need to refit them later. Position the two drum sides in the channel in the engraved plate as described previously for stage 4, phase 2, noting their correct date alignment. Lay the bottom plate with the motor, control system and legs over the drum sides. 
ensure the sides fit in the channel around the outer edge of the bottom plate. Rotate the bottom plate gently until the drive shaft engages with the jaws of the motor spindle. When the three bolt holes align with the sockets in the underside of the engraved plate, lower one bolt at a time through the bottom plate and engage its thread. Tighten with a 5mm Allen key. Repeat for the other two bolts. Then turn the model upright and refit all loose parts, ensuring all gears are meshed and that the year counter cover plate is fitted. Stage 7 is now complete.